Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 530. I'm Rachel Cole and we start tonight focusing on the wildfires burning across our state. The fire that now has everyone's attention is the Backbone Fire. Take a look at this. It's burned more than 24,000 acres and firefighters have no containment on it at this hour. Several roads in the area remain closed. The flames forced evacuation orders for both Pine and Strawberry. Plus, it's starting to move to the north and the west as it has started to burn up dry grass and trees in the area. Officials say the fire has quadrupled in size over the last 48 hours as hundreds of firefighters and aircraft, as you can see, are trying to work to control it. The problem is high winds and excess brush creating ideal conditions for those flames. So any heat that hits those fields starts them on fire. The wind blows and, and makes the fire more intense. So we've, we're at an uphill battle when it comes to the wind the heat, the sunlight on the on the fire all comes together to make the fire burn very intently. And fire officials plan on giving a community update on Facebook at 7 p.m. So we'll be sure to bring you those details. The Telegraph Fire southeast of the valley has now burned more than 180,000 acres. Firefighters, though, have it 67 percent contained. However, evacuation orders are still in place for Dripping Springs, Wind Spirit, Hagen Ranch, Slash S Ranch and Government Springs. And another fire that we need to keep an eye on is the Wyrick fire. It's burning northwest of Heber. The fire is still less than 120 acres, but the big concern again is the wind in the area, which has greatly increased that fire activity. And there are high power lines west and northwest of that fire. And